We went to Baghdad for two days and then to Erbil in uh, Kurdistan, uh, the autonomous region of Kurdistan in Iraq. We had extremely high level meetings. We met all of the key people in the Iraqi government and in the uh, government uh, of the Kurdistan uh, uh, region, uh, apart from Prime Minister Nouri al-Maliki himself, who was actually on a mission to uh, South Korea. The situation regarding Camp Ashraf and the massacre that took place there on the 8th of April, with 35 people killed, with many hundreds uh, injured, some of them critically injured, and to this moment, the 35 who were killed have still not been buried. The part of the camp occupied by the Iraqi military uh, contained the cemetery and they have not permitted access to that cemetery. Uh, and these bodies remain uh, unburied to this uh, day uh, now. But I have emphasized to the Iraqi government and I re-emphasize here today that these uh, negotiations on the future of Ashraf cannot even begin. We will not sit down and start negotiating with the Iraqi government unless they withdraw their military now from Ashraf, allow access to uh, medicines and proper medical care for the critically injured and all the other wounded, uh, stop the siege of Ashraf which has gone on for two years and create as much as possible a situation of normality.